Welcome back to Fox West Texas. Let's get into your sports news for tonight. The Angelo State women's golf team will compete in the Lone Star Conference Championship starting tomorrow. The championship will last until the 23rd. Tomorrow, a practice round will be played, followed by the 36 holes match on Thursday. Then on Friday and Saturday, there will be the semifinals round. The tournament will be played at Squaw Valley Golf Course in Glen Rose, Texas. And also, award-winning author Michael Hurd will be speaking at ASU about his new book, Thursday Night Lights. Hurd's book discusses the story of black high school football in Texas. During his 30 years of career as a journalist, Hurd has covered major sporting events in the NFL, NBA, NCAA, and the Olympics. The presentation will happen tomorrow in the Houston Hart University Center. And as the NBA playoffs are currently going on right now, in other news, the Dallas Mavericks ended up tying the series last night against the Utah Jazz. During the 110 to 104 victory, a name you're going to hear a lot this series. I'm telling you now, Jalen Bronson is the guy that put up 41 points, eight rebounds, and five assists. So what was the turnaround the Mavs made from game one to game two? Well, I'll answer that for you. In game one, they were only 38.2% from the field goal. But in game two, they turned it around and they were 47% from the field goal. And also just the great ball handling the whole entire game, the Mavs only had three turnovers. Now game three will go back to Utah on Thursday. And guess what's even better for the Mavs as they continue throughout this series? Yeah, you might have guessed it, whether it's Optimism star Luka Doncic will return for Game 3 Thursday or Game 4 on Saturday versus the Jazz. The calf strain that Doncic suffered on April 10th is improving and workouts over the next two days could determine a comeback timing. Well, that's some news that's going to amp up the series, but that will do it for sports for now. Stick around more after the break.